Hi everyone and welcome back to Motive Pilates. I'm going to take you through a standing lower body workout today where we're really going to look to strengthen and tone our legs. You're not going to need any equipment for today's workout, I'm just going to do this using my own body weight. However, if you did want to level this up and get an extra spicy workout, you can add in ankle weights as an option. However, like I said, I'm just going to do this using my own body weight. I know that the burn is still going to be incredibly real without, so choose your option, whichever one you feel like today. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mat and we will get started. Okay, so coming up into a standing position, just have your feet parallel, hip distance apart. Just place your hands on your hips, have a soft bend through your knees, and I just want you to tilt your pelvis forward and backwards for me. So if we come to the side, you're just tilting your pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just trying to see if you tilt your pelvis further back or whether you tilt it further forward just seeing and understanding how your body feels. And then I want you to come into a neutral position. So the way I like to imagine it is that my pelvis is a bowl of water. And if I'm tilting my pelvis too far forward, the water is gonna fall out. If I tilt my pelvis too far back, the water is gonna fall out the back. And we wanna find that neutral position where that water is gonna stay still. Okay, again, coming back into that neutral position. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Just place your hands forward for me. So palms are facing me. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Lengthen out through the crown of your head. And then really slowly close down your eyes. As always, we will start by connecting into our breath. So take a big deep breath in through the nose, feeling the rib cage expand. And then exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale, feel the rib cage expand. This time as you exhale, start to draw your belly button back towards your spine, connecting into your center. Two more like this, inhale. And exhale, feeling the gap closing between your ribs and your hips, drawing your belly button back towards your spine. Last one, inhale. And exhale, and just holding the eyes shut. I just want you to set an intention for today's class. Whether that is to really challenge yourself today, to push yourself, to just be mindful in the moment, to bring more energy, to focus in on your technique, whatever that intention is, just set that now for me. Bring it to the front of your mind. And as we go throughout today's class, I just want you to keep coming back to that intention. And then when you're ready, slowly opening the eyes. I'm just gonna pop my hair back to start off with because I have a feeling this one might get a little bit sweaty. And then when you're ready, coming into a wide position. So in a plie position, your feet are wider than hip distance apart, feet are turned out you can have your hands on your hips or you can have your hands in prayer. If your hands are in prayer, just make sure that your elbows are nice and high. I want you to take an inhale. As you inhale, you lower down and then exhale, lift yourself up. We're just warming up to start with. So inhale down, exhale, lift. Inhale down. And as you exhale, I really want you to squeeze your inner thighs and that's what brings you up. Keep your chest lifted. And I want you to imagine that you're sliding down a wall. So if I come to the side again, it's like you're sliding down a wall so your back is nice and flat. I don't want you to be sending your glutes back behind you. It's like you're sliding down a wall. So lower down, keep your back flat and lift. So no glutes behind you. I don't want to see your chest coming down. Chest stays lifted the whole time. Like I say, just warming up here, just taking it nice and slow. Three more. For two, squeeze those inner thighs to lift. Last one. Okay, this time you're gonna lower yourself down and just hold it here for me. I want you to lift your right heel off the mat. You're gonna lift up an inch and lower. Lift and lower. For eight, nice and slow, seven. 
for six, five, try not to come up too high for four, three, chest is lifted for two, last one, lower that right heel down, lift the left heel off, we go again, lift an inch and lower, lift and lower for eight, seven, try and stay low for six, five, make sure that your knees are pushing out for four, three, don't let your knees come in for two, one, hold, lower that heel down, just hold for five, four, get lower, three, two, one, just give me tiny pulses down and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reset. Don't know about you guys, but I can already feel my legs starting to burn. Okay, bringing your feet in this time. Your feet are gonna be just slightly wider than hip distance apart. I'm gonna to come to the side again. We're gonna go into our squat. So hands come to prayer, elbows nice and high. This time you will be sending your hips behind you. So you're gonna lower down into your squat, send your hips back and lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. As you lower down, make sure that all your weight is going through your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes all the way it's going through your heels. And then as you lift up, don't hyperextend through the hips. So just come back to that neutral position, but squeeze the glutes at the top. Inhale down, exhale lift, keep your core nice and strong. Chest is lifted. Five more. For four. Three. Two. On this last one, you're gonna hold it down for me. You're gonna hold, you're gonna hover your right foot off the mat, should I say, your right heel off the mat. Again, we go into those lifts and lowers like we just did a second ago in our plie position. But keep your chest nice and high. Lift an inch, lower an inch. Right heel is just off the mat. If again, I come round to the side, your hips are back behind you, right heel is off the mat. Keep it low. Four more. For three, two, last one, hold it down. This time you're gonna flow your right knee out to the side. So keeping on the ball of your right foot, you just flow that knee out and out. Stay low for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Bring that knee in, lower the heel and lift, reset. Shake the legs out. We go. Same thing on the other side. So this time you squat down, come into your squat position, lift your left heel off, lift an inch, lower an inch, lift and lower. Smile through the burn, guys. We're only here for 20 minutes. Nice, short, sharp, quick and effective workout. Five more here for four, three, two, Last one, hold it down, flare that knee out and out for eight, seven, six, stay low for five, four, three, two, one, hold, lower that heel down, lower an inch for me, just hold here for five, lower even further for four, three, two, one, and shake those legs out. Wow, the burn is real. If you are doing this with ankle weights, I applaud you right now, it's a tough one. Okay, coming to face the outside of your mat, we're gonna go into a lunge series now. Hands come back to prayer. You're gonna step back into a lunge and lift, alternating sides, lower and lift. Step it back, lift up, inhale down, exhale lift, keep your chest lifted. We really are burning out the legs today. It's gonna to feel so good when we're done though. Come back to that intention that you set yourself. Two more on each side. Last one. And on this last one, hold your right leg back. Just hold, shift your weight back. Give me tiny little lifts. 
and lowers for eight seven make sure that your hips are parallel five more for four three two one hold this time you're going to bring your right knee up and step it down so as you bring your right knee up hands come down by your side and then hands come to pro as you lower yourself down lift and lower just five more for four try and find something to balance to focus on to balance for three two you got it last one hold it down hold tiny pulses again for eight seven six five four three two one hold this time you're going to extend your back leg your hands are going to come back behind you then sit back into that lunge so you shoot yourself forward straighten out that back leg and come in so your left leg stays bent the whole time just straightening that right leg five more lean forward for three getting into those calves as well for two you got it last one hold eight pulses to finish eight seven six five four three two one and shake your legs out good work we've got the same thing to do on the other side hands come to prayer this time you step back with your left foot lower down just give me tiny pulses here eight more seven nice and slow for six five four three two one hold you're going to bring your left knee up hands come down by your side lower down exhale lift inhale lower down try and make sure that you're not flaring through your ribs find something to focus on in front of you which will help you balance core is nice and strong belly button is still back towards your spine even though we're not working into our abs specifically here still focus on that core connection shoulders away from your ears three more here you got it for two last one hold it down tiny little lift for eight seven six five four three two one hold you extend that back leg shoot your arms back come forward then sit back so you extend that left leg hands come behind you shift your weight forward then sit back into it hands come back in six more don't hate me guys i know it burns five for four three you're stronger than you think keep it going for two last one hold in that lunge eight pulses to finish eight seven six five four three two one and step it up shake it out okay not long left to go i knew it'd be a sweaty one i'm so glad i put my hair up now okay hands come to your hips i just want you to have a soft bend through your knees we're going to work into our right side to start with so you're going to step your right foot out bring it in step it back bring it in step it out and in back and in again make sure your pelvis is in that neutral position like we did at the start shoulders are away from your ears your weight should be in your left foot use this time to catch your breath you got it four more for three two on this last one hold the leg back this time all that weight really should be in your left foot you're going to lift that right leg up tap it down lift and lower so if i turn around to the side holding down you're just lifting that top leg up or that back leg up should i say squeezing into your glutes keep your hips parallel five more for four you got it three two 
last one, hold, bring that foot in, step it out to the side, we go again, lift and lower for eight, seven, that left leg is burning, for five, four, three, two, last one and reset, take a second, we go same thing on the other side, so soft bend through the knees, this time your left leg steps out, bring it in, step it back, bring it in, still focusing on your posture, as you step that out, foot out to the side, squeeze the glute, bring it in, as you step it back, squeeze the glute, keep it in, as you step it back, don't lift your hip up, keep your hip square, still focus on that core connection, four more, for three, two, on this last one, hold it back, we go into those lifts again, lift, and lift, for eight, seven, find something to balance on for six, or something to focus on to balance, should I say, four more, three, two, one, hold, bring that foot in, step it out, we go again, lift, and lift, for eight, seven, smile through it guys, six, five, four, three, oh, I'm rocking from side to side, two more, last one, and reset, shake it out. Okay, we've got one last thing, and then we will stretch. We're gonna challenge ourselves to finish. So you're gonna come back into that plie position, but this time you're gonna step your foot behind, come down into a curtsy lunge, step out, curtsy lunge to the other side, try not to kick any walls behind you. So you step out, curtsy lunge, step out, curtsy lunge. As you step out to the side, try and keep nice and low. Getting into the outer glutes now, as well as the inner thighs. Step it out. Lower down, try and keep your hips square to the front of the room the whole time. Elbows stay lifted. On this next one, I just want you to hold it here for me. Hold, get nice and low. I want you to tap the floor, come to prayer. Tap it down and lift for eight, seven. Really burning it off to finish for six, five, Four, keep your chest lifted for three, two, last one, hold straight over to the other side, you got it, this is your last thing, tap it down, and lift, eight, seven, I'm right here with you, I know it's burning for six, five, four, you got it guys, smile through it for three, two, one, and reset, even just standing up straight feels nice. Oh, let's finish with a quick stretch. If you have something to hold on to, hold on to a wall, we'll come into a quad stretch. If not, just come into your standing stretch here. We'll lower down that heart rate. It's a sweaty one today, is a really good burn and then switch sides. Just slowing down your heart rate, slowing down your breath. And then release. We'll just come into a quick lunge, opening up through our hip flexors. So right foot forward, come into your lunge position, make sure that your hips are parallel, square them off. Really push your hips down into the mat. And then send your hips back slightly. I just want you to heel to your foot to the opposite side of the mat. Let your knee fall out, come into your pigeon pose. Stretching out the glutes. And then lower yourself down onto your forearms. Deepening that stretch. And then coming up onto your hands, tuck your back toe under and switching sides. Oh, so 
I did that wrong. <laughs> We're gonna just bring that foot forward. So bring your left foot forward this time. Oh, that workout has challenged my, my brain as well as my body. I'm sure you can all appreciate trying to talk <laughs> as well as do those kind of workouts can, can be challenging in itself. And then send your hips back slightly, heel toe your foot to the opposite side of the mat. Let your knee fall out, come into your pigeon pose, stretching out your glutes. And then lower down onto your forearms if that feels good. I feel like if you guys know me and you've been doing workouts with me for a while now, you know, you'll know I mess my words up all the time, but it makes me human, so what can I say? <laughs> And then rocking onto your glutes, coming into a, a seated position in the middle of your mat. Just place your hands down on your knees, just roll your shoulders back a few times. And then close down your eyes. I just want you to come back to that intention that you set yourself at the beginning of this class. Do you feel like you succeeded in that intention? If not, what else could you have done? Or if you did, you should be proud of yourself that you completed what it is that you set out to do. I'm so proud of you all for challenging yourself in today's workout. It was a challenging one. It was a really good burn. I don't know about you, but I can feel the endorphins flowing through my body. It's incredible what a quick 20 minute workout can do, not only for your body, but also for your mind. And then when you're ready, slowly opening the eyes we will finish, as always, with one last deep breath together. So take an inhale, lifting the hands up overhead, bring the hands together, and then exhale, bring the hands down to your heart center. And you are all done, guys. You smashed that workout today. I really challenged you and you showed up, you did it. It was a nice, quick, effective 20 minute workout. So I hope you feel incredible, not only in your body, but also in your mind with those endorphins flowing, like I just said. If you did enjoy today's workout, make sure that you subscribe so that we can work out together again. And I will see you on the mat again very soon.